Okay, we just got back from our first camping trip with, uh, whoops, sorry, finger, from the Horseshoe up in the Pike National Forest. And this is a tryout from buying our first slide-in camper, so we kind of needed to know what was going on. And we found a few things that were wrong, and over the next few months, weeks, whatever, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to try to get it as close to new. But when we were unhooking, we found this right here where it kind of slid down. This is where your, your truck bed goes in, right in between here. This slid down. I don't know if there's some wetness under there, but that needs to be resealed, resealed up through here. I'm going to take this whole thing off and reseal it. Um, the underbelly, I'm going to redo that with some waterproofing. Uh, and let's see, go further down here. Okay, the gas was awesome. We used it for hot water. We used it for heat because it was actually pretty cold up there. Um, we were at 10,600 feet. So we had the heat during the night. Um, and it would actually run off a of battery, so we didn't have to have the generator running. So, and we had the refrigerator running on LP. We used a little over half of a tank. It's a 40 um, pound tank. So we used a little over half of that. So it's not too bad for almost a week. And then I found, I'm going to, I'm gonna take these stickers off because they're just faded and everything, but I'm gonna reseal all the windows on this. And the generator, oh yeah, it worked great up until the very last day then all of a sudden it decided up oh, i'm not going to start and it would rev it would go up and down up and down so i decided that i'm just going to rebuild this thing if it's past that rebuilding i do have a portable that i'll just take with me take this out and use this as some storage space which is definitely needed on this uh, but other than that i mean once i fix it you know because i have an electronics background and small engine repair it's gonna be fun. It's will be my first generator rebuild. Well, actually, I've rebuilt a few portable, but never a, a natural gas type or propane type. That's gonna be different. Um, other than that, I mean, it ran fine. It's what, 21 years old? 20, yeah, about that. 21 years old, so it did great for that. The water was fine. We uh, I believe it's a 47 gallon. We never ran out of water. We brought two five gallons extra with it and never ran out of water of course we didn't take showers every day but it didn't really matter we smelled mostly like smoke from our campfire that we actually got to do here in colorado which is kind of amazing i'm going to take off all the stickers and then one other thing i found right here this bumper when you step on it you can see kind of how it's a little in when you step on it put your weight on it it kind of moves i'm gonna to to take that whole thing off and probably rebuild it i'm gonna add an extra step because once you get this up on the truck it's kind of high up so i'll redo a step and then going around uh that's our black and gray water i'll redo these windows um my main window that i'm going to redo um i'll do, do all of them might as well get it done but the main one is going to be this front window it didn't leak there's no wind or anything but that you can see that weather weather stripping is kind of pulling away just because of its age i'm going to go ahead and pull the whole window and put new weather stripping on there uh, and then i noticed when i was kind of polishing it a little uh, there's a dent up there so i don't know if somebody's dropped some on this or he ran into some guy before me but i should get it pretty close it's it's a little different having to slide in because you got to crank this up my truck kind of sits up high you got to crank this thing way up and it's you know a lot of wind down here so that's going to be fun but we'll get it done and um, see what we can do see you over the next few